The 14th season of At Your Leisure is coming to an end today, and we are bringing you more adventure from all corners of the West. After 14 years, you'd think we've run out of places to take you, but we've only scratched the surface. Today, come with me as I explore the lands around Bryce Canyon and discover hidden wonders you won't find at the National Park. Then, Steve Human falls into a hole of recreation that he doesn't want to climb out of. Finally, how do farming and adventure go together? Find out right now on At Your Leisure Season Finale. Annual, per annum, every year, annual events. Well, welcome to At Your Leisure. We are at one today, the Panguitch ATV Jamboree, but it's also another annual event. It's our season finale. Today, we wrap up 14 years of At Your Leisure, headed to our 15th season, and we've been doing outdoor programming here locally for 25. So it's been a quarter century of a whole lot of fun. So, we are at the Bryce Canyon ATV Rally, and it is in some of the most beautiful and spectacular country in the state. Bright spires and red rocks, and we're gonna show you just the most amazing trip today. And you will want to make sure that you mark your annual calendar to make sure you're here next year. So let's get started. We are in beautiful Garfield County at the Bryce ATV UTV Rally. It is growing every year. We have 10 rides you can pick from. We know how to treat people. They have a really great type. We will start planning actually, um, probably September, October. We start that early, we get our t-shirts ready, we add two or three new rides, take two or three rides away, so we'll actually start planning immediately. The poker run goes out on Friday. We have an ATV rally, a rodeo. We have barrel races. We have obstacle course. We have a, a mud bog. We have weight poles. We have a night ride with a dinner that we serve out in the hills. I think the people see what we have to offer here. There's not many places you can go that you can see a trail like this, that you can hit a Castro Canyon. We come from a small town, so to have the people to come in and show them what we've got and what we have to offer, and hopefully they'll bring their families and come back again. You just have the small town community feel where everyone cares about each other. So activities around the event are only part of it. The real heart of the Bryce Canyon ATV Jamboree is the beautiful red rock, because there's no, nothing like it anywhere else in the world. So we're going to wrap up our travel adventure for this season with the same subject we've been on all day, and it's obviously the core of how we started our show, and that is another ATV trip. Steve Human is over in Castle Country, riding out of Emory to see what life is like on four wheels over there. Thanks, Chad. I'm Stephen Human. Now, most people don't ever want to get stuck in a hole. Well, today, I'm going to show why that's not such a bad thing. I'm out here in Emory County, out of the small town of Emory, and I'm going to take you on an ATV trip that is going to blow your mind. Emory, Utah is about as small a place as you can get. Quiet, but beautiful. Its place on Highway 10, just north of I-70, makes it an access point to adventure that few other places can match. And I learned that firsthand today as I set my sights west of town into the mountains and trails of the Arapeen. I've explored east of Emory on the San Rafael Swell many times, but this is my first foray into the west, where desert meets forest and bluffs tower over fertile valleys. It was eye-opening to be sure, and our chosen route quickly took us into a hole. The whole trail, as a trail that brings you up out of the muddy canyon. Years ago, the whole trail had washed out and it was, had been impassable. And the Forest Service decided to reopen it again as just a 
an ATV 50 inch size trail. And so they run their trail cat down through it. It's been a pretty good challenge for them over the years to, to keep it maintained because there's spots on there that are constantly washing out and, and they're having to reroute and, and, and repair. But, but the whole trail has become probably one of the most popular trails here in the area. Fantastic you went from almost desert to rocks to trees to nice forest grass. It's beautiful up here. I just, I'd, I'd stay here, I've been here my whole life. <laughs> and it's easy to see why. Within a half hour, you pass from grass areas wet with swampy mud to fertile valleys set between white pillars to rocky trails that push your skill while challenging your perception of the area. After another half hour, you come out on top of the mountain and can gaze out over hundreds of miles on a clear day while driving through meadows and looking up at white cliffs of limestone that are completely different from other formations in the area. It's no wonder so many residents never leave and so many others choose to make this their home after a single visit. I love it. I just love four wheeling. That, that's what brought me here to Utah. We were stopping on our way from Wisconsin, that's where I'm originally from, ended up buying a house and now I spend my summers here and my winters in Yuma, Arizona. Diverse terrain is the key to a memorable ride and it seems like everywhere we turn, there is something different, a new color or environment to pass through. We rode for 75 miles, which for anyone who's ever taken a ride like that, you know we covered some ground. But we saw some impressive territory and all of it was accessible on our ATVs. There's something about this area west of Highway 10 that feels underappreciated. The locals know about it, sure, but most people outside of this little corridor of towns are completely oblivious to what they're missing. It's something residents are trying to change. This land is worth sharing, and they aren't afraid to spread the word. Within minutes, I can be on the, in the desert or I can be on the mountain. People just get so caught up in, you jump on the freeway and you just race past these, these little areas like Emory County and don't really take the time to take the scenic byways and to see what, what kind of scenery there really is out through there. It can be a challenge to change our travel routine sometimes and get off the freeway in a new area. But when you're promised experiences like this and sites like these, there's no reason to limit yourself with the same old drive. The Arapine system has something for everyone and if you find yourself on the whole trail, well, you'll understand why this is one place you'll be glad to get stuck. There's so many treasures in Utah that are really, people just haven't really had the opportunity to get out and explore. We hope they'll take the time to come and, and visit us. We have a lot of things to offer down here. They're missing a lot of, uh, of, of country and a lot of beauty uh, throughout this area if they don't come this way. Bring some respect with you, respect for the machine, respect for the trails, and respect for what other people enjoy also. This has been a great trip out here on the whole trail. The Arapine is massive. You can come out here for a week and not hit the same area twice. Now, we left out of Emory today, which is a small town on Highway 10, just north of I-70. And there are lots of places to stay in this area along the 10 corridor. You've got places in Castle Valley and Farron that you can stay at. And then right out of Emory, you have Castle Valley Outdoors, which is a ranch that is very beautiful and you can stay there as well. And you don't have to access this area from Emory. Right there over my shoulder is Mill Site Reservoir. You can hit it from there, you can hit it from Farron and any number of different locations. Well, I'm Stephen Hewitt for At Your Leisure. I hope you come out here and enjoy the Arapine and the whole trail. Right now, though, we got to take a commercial break and we'll be back with more of At Your Leisure. place that is beyond words. There is nothing to be said, except take your time in Bryce Canyon country. In 1946, Ray City started a business built on exploration and family. He made his customers a promise that they would always find a friend when they walked into a dealership with the name Ray City. Now, 70 years later, that promise is fulfilled every day. 
we're still all about exploration and family. 70 years is a long time, but we are just getting started. Come in and celebrate our huge anniversary sale. Ray City RV off Riverdale Road in Roy, serving your family since 1946. Dominate every trail. Conquer any task. You need a machine that does it all. Introducing Polaris General. The General is the most powerful rec utility side-by-side -side ever made. The industry's deepest cargo box lets you haul and dump up to 600 pounds, and the revolutionary cockpit totally refines comfort and protection. Polaris General, ultimate versatility to win every battle. When the road takes you farther than you knew possible, when the world is more beautiful than you've ever seen, when home is more comfortable than it should be, this is when you know you're in Kane County. The perfect mix of rural and urban, culture and adventure. Glendale, Orderville, Kanab, Big Water, small towns with more to offer than just peace and quiet. Kane County, Utah. Find the new you. Well, welcome back to the season finale of At Your Leisure. And speaking of finales, this could be mine. Um, I'm going to take this new, it's called a one-wheel skateboard out. This is a motorized skateboard, and this thing's pretty cool because you can see it's got a big fat tire on it, and it'll go up to about 15 miles an hour, and uh, it has a lot of safety features built into it, one of which it has a, a beginner's mode on it. So you, once you kind of learn how to use it and stuff, you can take it out of beginner's mode and go a little bit faster. Now the board will go up to about 15 miles an hour and it's uh, if you skateboarded or snowboarded or any of those kind of things it's a little easier to learn but it's really kind of set up so anybody can get started on the thing and it's really a lot of fun to try. Now for us older guys this board could be a little intimidating, so make sure you know you bring your helmet, your knee pads, and your elbow pads. You know, out when you come out to ride these things, you know, safety first, of course. So when you first take it out, it won't go as fast as it will once it's broken in. And, and there's some things on a phone app, so you can see what the battery charge level is. You can see what mode level it's in. So there's some different things you can do with the phone app. The other thing it does is if it gets going too fast, it will actually slow down for you. So if you get your weight too far forward and can't recover from it, it will actually slow down a little bit on its own. So it's kind of a fun new toy to give it a try, and uh, that's what we're gonna do. So come on, let's check it out. Come on, baby. The other kind of cool thing about this is on the front and the back, it has LED lights. So you've got white lights, that in the front, but if all of a sudden you change directions, they'll change to red lights, and you have the same thing on the front. You know, obviously has a gyro in it so that it can detect which way you're leaning. You just kind of stand on the, you know, shift your weight to the back a little bit, and it slows right down, so it's really easy to control your speed. Yeah, I'm not doing a backflip or any crazy stuff. But to be able to get on it and be able to motor around, that would only take you maybe a half a day at most to really get the hang of it. I can't wait to see what these kids will do with them in an empty swimming pool or a skateboard park. Well, if an old guy like me can figure this thing out, think how much fun your kids are going to have on it. Get out to Stedman's in Tooele. they got lots of these. They've got a demo you can try and, uh, and really go out and have some fun. Well, I'm Darren Kinder. We'll see you next time. Utah Farm Bureau has always been there to fight for the needs of its members. With discount programs on items ranging from vehicles and ATVs to health and wellness. The membership fees aren't big, but the results are. We've been around since 1916, and we're not leaving anytime soon. 
Utah Farm Bureau. We work for those who work to feed the world. Razor, Ranger, Sportsman, Ace. There's a Polaris to match your passion. Whether you ride mud, rocks, dunes, or trails, Razor leads the way. With unequaled power, unrivaled suspension, unmatched agility, and unbeatable comfort. Perfectly combined to chase what matters. Lifelong memories with friends and family. Welcome to Castle Country, a land as diverse as its people and a rural area that relies on responsible use of the land. Here, you will find adventure at every turn, from mountain peaks to sun-swept deserts. Castle Country has it all. Welcome back to the season finale of At Your Leisure. We are out wandering along the Ponsagant Ridge, which is right along the edge of Bryce Canyon. Now, I could sit here and talk to you about everything that we've seen, but it would be much better to show you. Let's go. We've left out of the town of Hatch, come up through Proctor Canyon, to the top of the Ponsagant Rim. We'll go all along the top of the Ponsagant Rim. We'll go down to the Pink Cliffs. Then we will drop down to the top of Crawford Pass. Once we come out of Crawford Pass, we'll come back along the Great Western Trail to Tropic Reservoir. Tropic Reservoir, we'll stop at the spring down there. It's got the best water in the world, right out of the ground. Our total ride will be about 80 miles in length, and it'll take us at least eight hours to get around it. Well, I think the thing that we've got here, we've got the contrast. We've got the tall pine trees. We've got the pink cliffs. You know, once you get out and you see it, you're hooked. Well, actually, I feel blessed to be able to live out here. First part of my life, I didn't live here. I've been out here the last 10 years. And they're gonna take me out of here one way, and that's feet first. <laughs> well, this is our last check-in before the end of the trail, but that doesn't mean we don't have time for a trailhead story, brought to you each week by Rocky Mountain ATV MC. Our story today is about a guy who has a passion for something that is so strong that it not only is his hobby, it is also his living, and they all merge into one beautiful way of life. Check it out. In order to be able to understand the land and to work it, you actually have to be on it. Usually we hear stories of people leaving the farm for a fast-paced life of jet-setting and urban freedom. John Flatbird's tale is actually the opposite. John started out flying jetliners around the world and enjoying the kind of lifestyle most people would envy. But that wasn't the life that he wanted. John felt a connection with the earth that called him from the sky to the farm. And that's where he ended up. Farming a serene plot of land just north of Kanab in Kane County, Utah. His love for farming and cattle grew with each year until what others would consider the opposite of fun became his own personal form of recreation. Yeah, working on the land, it, it's, for me, it, it is, it's, it's being on vacation. It's, it's a working vacation. John started Heartwater Permaculture Farm with his wife Rhonda and began experimenting outside the box of traditional agriculture. Permaculture is the idea of developing ecosystems that are self-sufficient and sustainable. What John has been able to do here at Heartwater is nothing less than extraordinary. We're working with nature rather than against it. Basically what we're doing is building an ecosystem and then grazing it. Part of building that ecosystem is using the land and the resources in new, more effective ways. Where some would see invasive willows, John sees a natural deworming plant for his cattle. 
and extra forage that will make his investment even more profitable. Where some would see cattle as a threat to environmental stability, John sees the opportunity to create a better balance and making the land even more fertile than it was when he took over the farm. Some of the changes he's made are simple, but lasting, such as rotating his cattle from one side of the field to the other every day so that the grass has a chance to grow and give his cows better feed. He hand digs his water ditches instead of using pipes so that the land can naturally replenish itself without the need of fertilizers. Everything about the farm is eco-friendly, as John would put it, meaning both ecological and economical. Not so much for being native and natural, but making the land optimally healthy. What he puts in with a little hard work pays huge dividends financially with what he's able to avoid. John has had such an impact on the area and his desire to share what he's learned has grown so much that it's turned the Hartwater farm into a tourist destination in and of itself. We kind of have a vision that we can use tourism to fuel the infrastructure of a new kind of agriculture that's sustainable so that we can grow our own food here and sell it locally so that we could eat our local beef and we could sell our local beef to restaurants. We get dozens of tourists come down and some of the locals, we get people from St. George, we've got uh, woofers that come here from Austria and Australia and around the world and we kind of like to think that we're in the business of changing hearts and minds. John realizes that his haven is ideal to create a self-sustaining grazing system and that many of his neighbors who graze large tracts could not duplicate what he's done. But some of it would be possible if land managers and ranchers could, like John, think outside the box. It's easy to think of farming as just work. But when you see it through the eyes of John Flatberg and the way he understands the world around him, you get a better understanding of that connection with the earth and how it changes lives. His recreation is different than the average person hiking or driving a four by four on a trail. But in truth, it may not be as distant as most of us think. I look forward to seeing the land grow before me, to see it being more fertile than it was than yesterday, to know that I'm following a, a set of values of land stewardship. For me, it, it's just, it, it's seeing the land thrive because we all need a connection to the earth to do that. And that connection is what we're all searching for when we head into the backcountry of the West. From the trailhead, I'm Don Dunwell. What a great time to get out and ride the ATV and UTV. Summertime's here. How are some of the key things that one can do in order to prevent an accident or an injury on these? Is to know your machine. Sometimes when you're on an ATV, you have the ability to shift your weight and move around. On a UTV, you're somewhat restricted. Do a couple of things. Read your owner's manual, take an education course, and become familiar with your machine and start slowly. Utah State Parks, adventures for everyone. They're here, Ranger XP-1000, the most powerful Ranger ever, General Four, the off-road's most popular new crossover, and Ride Command, connecting you like never before. See the best of 2017, or grab a great deal on remaining 2016s. Get rebates up to $2,000 during the Polaris factory authorized clearance. There's a little place on a Utah map Where I was raised, where my heart's at Where the sagebrush grows wild and high And the stars come out at night Oh, there ain't nothing like Being raised in 
the basin with the Ute Reservation skin starvation. That Duchesne County lie. Welcome back to At Your Leisure, the Bryce ATV Rally along the Pontagant Ridge. If I haven't sold you on the idea that you need to do this trip, I've got one more for you right here. And that is the Tropic Spring. It is some of the clearest, freshest, tastiest mountain artesian well water. Mm. So bring an empty thermos. And bring a pencil because we've got a long list of calendar events. First, mark this for next year. And then you'll want to join us for Red, White and Road, September 23rd and 24th in Torrey, Utah. Now, this is the seventh annual Stedman's event where we ride Highway 12 and explore some of the most iconic roadways in the Southwest. You can sign up now at AYLTV.com. And if you register before September 10th, it's only 40 bucks. After that, it will be 50. You'll get an event t-shirt, a Dutch oven dinner, a great chance to win some prizes and enjoy one of the best autumn rides anywhere. Again, sign up at AYLTV.com for the 7th Annual Red, White & Road Motorcycle Event and join us September 23rd and 24th. Now we have this week's AYL winner and we'll toss it over to Steve for that. It's right here. Alright folks, we don't see that every day. This is Phil. He's putting a new sticker on top of his old sticker because it was so old. Phil, say hello to everybody. Hi, how you doing? Phil, you're the winner this week for At Your Leisure. Yeah! How there we yeah. go. There we go. All how, right. would, how would you like fast cart passes? How does that sound? <laughs> All right, you're going to have to call us. He's going to have to call us. You guys can get your stickers too. Keep watching the show. Well, that wraps it up for another show and another season. And I do want to take a minute just to thank you, our viewers, for being such loyal fans. We've got people who are watching us regularly all across the nation, and we appreciate it. But I also would like to remind you to thank the sponsors because they make it possible for us to produce and bring the show every week to you. So reach out to them and tell them, hey guys, good job. And in a couple of weeks, we'll be back with our new season. To leave you with the last picture of this year though, we went through the archives of all the runs, hits, and airs from our 14th season and we will leave you with that. Cheers. Hi, I'm Chad Booth from At Your Leisure. I hope you just enjoyed the YouTube video that you just watched. Now, remember, we come up with new videos like this every single week, so you might want to subscribe to our YouTube channel so you never miss a single story that we have out. Now, you can also share us with all of your friends on social media. Here's how to do it right here, and that way they can have fun too. If you want detailed information, we of course have our website, AYLTV.com, and from there you can find out which television stations we broadcast on so you never have to spend a day without your fix of family-oriented outdoor recreation adventure. Plus, don't forget we have really cool contests.